a lot of flat earthers have one particular escape route they use quite a lot. Show me the curvature. Where is the curvature? And they come up with experiments with weather balloons and amateur rockets that show no curvature at high altitudes. And if they show curvature, it's because of the GoPro camera that was used. GoPro cameras are equipped with a fisheye lens. So, any evidence that there is a curvature visible is rendered void by the argument that it is due to camera distortion. So let me tell you something about cameras and lenses. Every camera lens has some distortion and the most common one is the barrel distortion. This makes objects look like they are bent, like in this photograph. This kind of distortion is present with any lens, but it increases with a shorter focal length. It is extreme with the so-called fish-eyed lenses with a focal length of 5 to 10 mm. I photographed my keyboard with an 18 mm lens from very close by. You can clearly see the distortion and even clearer when I put some lines in it. Note that the lines through the center point of the lens are not distorted. This also goes when I rotate the keyboard. Here the lines through the center of view aren't distorted, while all others are. This is true for any line going through the center of view. These, these remain as they are. This is an important characteristic of a fisheye lens. Lines off-center will bulge outwards and more so the further away they are from that center. This property can be used to calibrate, as it were, a picture that looks suspicious. This is a video of a rocket launch by students up to a height of 82 kilometers with a GoPro camera on board. Every time the edge of the earth coincides with the center view and therefore is not distorted, I'll stop the video and draw a straight reference line. You can see the distortion is strongest towards the edges of the frame, varying from very convex to even concave. This is another video of some amateurs in Norway who released a weather balloon with a GoPro camera on board that reached a height of 32 kilometers.
you can see that at the height of 13 and a half kilometers, just a bit more than the cruising altitude of commercial flights, hardly any curvature can be seen. At about 18 kilometers, the cruising altitude of Concorde, the curvature is more visible. And at nearly 30 kilometers, the curvature is distinctive. At 33 kilometers the balloon pops, but just before that the curvature is absolutely evident. Some passengers of commercial flights claim to have seen the curvature of the earth. If they have, then it must have been a very shallow curvature. Passengers of the Concorde had more luck because at its cruising altitude of 18 kilometers the curvature is very distinct. All these claims, be it from ordinary passengers or privileged ones, are systematically dismissed by flat earthers with the argument that the windows of a plane are curved and therefore create this curvature. Most of these arguments are accompanied by somewhat derogative the remarks like because an airplane is round, didn't you notice that? Well of course we noticed that. We also noticed that the fuselage of a plane is nothing else than a cylinder and that the windows are only curved in one direction and dead straight in the other, as can clearly be seen in these pictures of airplane windows. And technically, these windows consist of two parallel panes of glass, curved in one direction with a large radius in proportion to the size of the window, with only a very small gap between both panes. So there is no distortion whatsoever. The fact that curved windows distort an image reflected from it doesn't mean that the window distorts an image when seen through it. Besides, even in reflection the distortion is only there on lines parallel to the curvature. Lines that are perpendicular to it are more or less undisturbed. This can be demonstrated by this simple model. The vase on the cutting board shows some distortion when looking through one or two layers of curved glass. These are due to irregularities in the glass, but are rather minor taking into account the steep curvature of the glass. Photographed through a jar with two adversely curved layers, the distortion also is minor. But photographed through a jar filled with water, then the distortion takes effect and the glass together with the water acts like a lens. But here also the distortion is parallel to the curvature, the lines perpendicular are, are undisturbed. Also the image is reversed of course. It's a mistake to believe that a curved pane of glass with parallel boundaries works like a lens. It doesn't. It works just like a straight pane of glass. The explanation with curved airplane windows is widespread among the flat earth community. I, it surprised me that I couldn't find any rebuttal to this nonsensical argument. Finally, I would like to point out again that there is a weather satellite called Himawari 8 launched by Japan at July 7, 2015. 
It was manufactured by Mitsubishi Electric and is operated by the Japan Meteorological Agency. So no NASA. It orbits in a geostationary path above the Asia Oceania area at a height of about 36,000 kilometers. The satellite sends real-time full-frame pictures of the Earth every 10 minutes. So no CGI and no Photoshop. These pictures are used to predict the weather in this region that is often afflicted by heavy and dangerous typhoons. You can look at an animation of these pictures du during a 24-hour period at any day you wish, as shown here. You can see the cloud patterns change. You can see the position of the Earth relative to the Sun change. This is the real thing. I think that's enough curvature for today.